For hundreds of great shows like this one, go to onnetworks.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Kiki Sanford, and today on Food Science, we're breaking down proteins. One of the most important processes in cooking is protein denaturation, or the breaking of a protein structure by the application of extreme conditions. We use them daily, so it begs that we ask the certain questions such as, how does a microwave oven really work? And are they good or are they bad for you? Well, microwaves are hot and cold spots. No doubt they're very convenient, but at what cost? And again, are they good or are they bad for you? First of all, let me tell you the good about microwave ovens. They're cheap, they're fast, and they're convenient. But that's pretty much it. And now for the bad. They decrease food value 60 to 90%. I read some research recently that showed that uh, broccoli lost 97% of its antioxidant content when cooked in a microwave, whereas the same broccoli only lost 11% when it was uh, steamed. Uh, it causes a disruption in the formation and function of your hormones. It disturbs brain function, particularly impacting concentration and memory. It diminishes the function of your immune system. It damages the eyes so that you're more susceptible to things like cataracts. It diminishes the, the uh, or causes change in the heart physiology and rhythm. It increases blood sugar and cholesterol while decreasing white blood cell and red blood cell count, making you tend towards anemia. It increases carcinogens in all foods that are cooked in a microwave. And it transforms living foods into dead matter. Now, it's been determined that every microwave, no matter how good, they are so convenient, let's face it, microwaves truly are, uh, but should you be using your microwave as often as you do? Studies are suggesting that microwaving your food could drastically reduce the nutrient content in your food. So with the latest on some of these studies, we have nutritionist and author Julie Danilek joining us. Julie, this is kind of scary, and I'm a little skeptical because, uh, you know, okay. we're all assuming... Son of households. Yes, well, the latest studies are showing that the way we superheat the food is the problem. So know that microwaves use radiation to superheat water mo molecules. So they're actually changing the polarization within the molecule, superheating them. And it can actually get hotter than the boiling point. Mm -hmm. And when we superheat our food, we can damage the phenolic compounds, those wonderful antioxidants that protect us from cancer. So that's the big study that we've seen is that it does reduce antioxidants okay, by I, up to 90%. That's huge. So the most uh, valuable part of the food that we would ingest then is gone as yes. soon as you microwave it. I have yes, to, I have to ask you, though, because a lot of us thought, well, that was the old microwaves when they first came out. Haven't they enhanced the technology? And the answer is what? They haven't? Well, uh, to be honest, the way microwaves work, just by the fact that we're superheating food, is right. a concern. It also denatures protein, and the way proteins unfold is a concern. Because as we denature protein, we may be building an intolerance to it, especially to dairy. Mm -hmm. So they are suggesting that, that people who are sensitive to dairy definitely avoid microwaving dairy, and, and definitely avoid... Uh, microwaving breast milk because so many children are microwaving formula because babies of course have a much more delicate digestive tract and we denature the proline which is a very important amino acid for them it also re uh, reduces the amount of antibodies in the milk so the so here are these babies who are having reheated milk, they're not mm -hmm. getting the immune benefit from the breast milk that they so need. Okay, another one I want to uh, point out, oh yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead Oh, just one more I wanted to point out is that it deactivates vitamin B12. And so many people are dealing with a vitamin B12 deficiency that it's no surprise. So it actually changes it from the active form to an unactive form of B12 that our body no, no longer is able to utilize. Mm -hmm. So I'd really love people to consider uh, using other more convenient forms of, of heating because there is so many new cool things on the market. Right, and I'm just like, just specifically as to how much of the nutritional value is lost, uh, zapping broccoli mm -hmm. 
it lost 97% yes. of its beneficial antioxidants. So steaming, by comparison, you only lose 11% fewer yes. of the antioxidants. Yes, That's huge. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the thing is that steamers are extremely convenient.